So even though we are without climbing gear, basically, except for my harness and my climbing shoes, just totally randomly we bumped into my friends and we're going climbing. Book of Love, another uh, amazing 13 D. Book of Hate. Yeah. Oh. No love. <laughs> so it's no Book of Love, Book of Hate. 13 D, 8 B, like stemming. 30, 40 meters. It's amazing. Haven't been there yet. So the first time I put the shoes on I need to get it with the plastic bag in because it's more slippery and you get it in. Second time I get in it's already a little bigger. The shoes are warmer and it's okay. As soon as the shoes are really tight the plastic bag also prevents from like scratching your toes from, from above. It's less painful and definitely very recommended. Yeah. We just climb the lead climb, the leading climber climbs with the state tag line yeah. on his harness and I didn't know how to turn. <laughs> and like also with the the left wall being so steep, mm -hmm. sometimes I was like only my foot uh, cut I'm loose and I was side. like standing like this and it almost fe felt like <laughs> resting, good resting <laughs> the feet. <laughs> yeah, man. It was close. I just this this one started sliding. I needed to choke up my back. <laughs> uh, I just had to make the transition from the like chimneying down to the stemming, and I couldn't find the transition. Unfortunately, it will be dark very soon, and we don't have a headlamp. So if I want to climb, I need to give it one try now. Well, amazing first day! I'm really happy to have done it. On the second try, I didn't have any time to rest, especially for the calf, it was a problem. But I was just sprinting my way up to the top and I didn't run out of my power in, in my legs. And I was just stemming and maybe trying to spoil the power also on from my arms, but you can't really get pumped on your arms, but you can get easily pumped in your calves and that's what really counts. Pretty happy.